Hi, it's Atharal here for EGN, and today we're going to be starting the first of our Mountain Blade Warhammer mod Let's Plays. So, we're going to start off with, just keep it nice and simple for this one, we're going to play as an an Empire human man. So, just setting up this guy, I don't really know too much about the skills and everything, obviously I know I want him to be able to survive. So, obviously we're going to put our Iron Flesh up, obviously this is very, not, very much not a typical sort of sort of role play when compared to other ones you know with magic and potions and things like that quite simply what you get is your skills and your armor there's no magic in this world which is a slight shame for the warhammer mod obviously there is a lot of magic in the warhammer universe but obviously there isn't in this game which is a shame but it's still very nice for doing sort of mass battles leading a lot of troops and things like that which is obviously not something that you see as often in actual sort of um, role playing games like obviously Skyrim's, well El any Elder Scrolls games really, Fallout games, Mass Effect um, you know the list could really go on for sort of just sort of single person or small teams and things like that so we won't get in that too much though so just sorting out our character here and uh, the i will just start by saying that this game not the best looking one in the world it hasn't aged brilliantly but you know you can make something reasonably okay i do love some of the armor in this game as well i've played a couple of different ones and it's definitely very interesting so this mod does add in some extra features obviously you can become a just sort of a basic grunt in somebody else's army which is something that we're going to do because you do start off with next to nothing very little as you can see there very little equipment and armor and things like that so we are just going to equip our sword though obviously we do like to be able to actually kill things and so we are going to take employment in the army of emperor karl franz who is obviously the leader of the empire in what i will always consider to be the current version of the warhammer universe i refuse to accept that they have destroyed it and you can see here some of the model, some of the sort of models for the different units. Uh, they do definitely look like the ones that you did get in the tabletop board game, which is something that I do really like. Admittedly, I've never played the Empire myself. I'm not a big sort of artillery and gun sort of guy. I always preferred my elves, as you likely know, obviously from the mods that I've done in the past. And so here we see, and obviously this is one of the advantages of this game that you can do these large mass battles between. Your, your armies and enemies they can get quite large obviously there is on a limit of 150 people in the base game that you can have on the sort of field at any one time although i do believe there is actually mods that allow you to increase that number obviously i don't recommend doing it if you do have a particularly powerful computer that would be able to handle it this one definitely could um, but it's just not something that i've ever looked to actually install so you can see here we are part of the army of Karl Franz. He has assembled all of the pretty much forces of the actual empire to go on an assault of the northern cruise so sort of the northern chaos wastelands. And so we're going to skip forward here. And we're going to see his crusade for the Chaos Wastes. See how well this goes. So here we are just obviously attacking this castle here. And you can see how this obviously, it, hopefully it should go okay. But you know, I'm not holding out all that much hope for myself to be honest. At these earlier levels obviously it is a case that you do tend to die quite a bit in these games. Unless you are very, very, very careful. Um, I am unfortunately not. I tend to be a little bit um, gun ho with how quickly I go into things. You can already see though as obviously... You hit every single week you do get pay when you are actually one of the guy's actual troops. And as you gain experience, you can level up, which will obviously automatically give you better equipment and things like that. Sometimes they will obviously let you keep this when you leave their employ or they will take it back off you. But they, you will still keep the gold. So it's a nice way to earn some money at the beginning uh, rather than sort of having to uh, collect a couple of guys and then just beat some very small guys and make sure that you keep running. So it's something I'm going to do try and move up through the forces of the Karl Franz army to be able to sort of say okay you know I'm then going to strike out on my own as Michael as an actual sort of experienced 
warrior who is going to try and lead some men at a later date and who knows maybe even become a vassal or anything like that and there we go we have some chaos soldiers there not people that we want to actually be trying to fight with ourselves they are not something that we would last very long against and so we are going to actually accidentally fall down here so we are in actually quite a good place to sort of just um, harass these guys although you know if they do get hit on us you know certainly these guys the chaos warriors there undivided i believe they are as well and um, but as you can see they are big sort of blocks of armor not something we want to go against we're sort of trying to focus against these actual marauders here as they are a little bit easier so i've skipped forward a little bit there in the battle i pretty much have spent the last sort of five ten minutes just kind of sitting here picking at guys as they come as we are steadily sort of forcing them back and everything now this is you can see we've had to fight sort of tooth and nail for every single inch of this castle so these guys are not moving anytime soon but we are steadily sort of pushing them back as our forces are steadily moving in obviously as as mentioned earlier you can only obviously get 150 guys maximum on the field at any one time but obviously when you, your army or their army does go down below a certain point then what does happen is they actually send in reinforcements so we actually managed to successfully take Sunderholm castle and um, reasonably easily but then our empire the Empire forces they do start to move back a little bit and then decide to push on and um, basically we do see some guys trying to raid our village that we've just taken and so we are going to move in with them and actually begin this assault and massive battle here this is obviously a land battle you can already see the amount of sort of troops that are getting fielded in this one it is quite a large number of these do get to be some quite sort of impressive battles you can actually when you do lead your own troops you can give uh, sort of modicum of control over the units as you can obviously direct exactly who does what you can direct by infantry cavalry and create some of your own actual sort of uh, command units as well for you know to target certain like say your more powerful units or your weaker units and direct them around and things like that obviously we're just sort of jumping around during the combat here michael is obviously very aware that you know he is not somebody that is really going to be able to do very much in these sort of battles and especially against things like your chaos and divided or their your corn um, warriors of corn not people that we want to go up against ourselves so we are sort of running around trying to pick off sort of the actual marauders themselves and you know those are people I think we can safely say that we will be able to take down with these obviously things do get to a bit of um, a cluster shall, shall, we, shall we say uh, in this game when obviously the whole army is charged they don't tend to really hold battle lines very well or anything like that which is a bit of a shame but it's something more for your sort of total war games more than anything with battle lines and everything like that something i will just mention i will possibly look at actually doing some total war games in the future if it's something that people might like to see i do have all of them they are definitely a um, enjoyment of mine and i'm definitely looking forward to the total war warhammer game and uh, obviously if that is something that people would like to see be sure to uh, you know subscribe send me a message and things like that i'm sure i can organize some stuff to get that all done there is a couple of other games i am potentially considering doing as well but obviously i won't talk on them too much at the minute it's got quite a lot of stuff going on so as you can see here we are you can obviously see in the right hand sorry the left hand side of the screen is obviously a list of when people are going down and everything we are tending to do quite a good little bit um generally more of their guys are dying than ours and there obviously we do actually get knocked unconscious so i'll skip ahead there and we were unfortunately ultimately defeated not what you want but can't be helped and so we are however though now outnumbering them over 10 to 1 and unfortunately so that battle obviously we will skip over and everything and i think it's safe to say that the battle is should not go too difficult for us they do automatically push that back and then i do believe there is yep here is another battle so we are definitely managing to push them back and hold the chaos guys back from taking back their lands that we have actually taken by besieging their castle one thing I will say is you don't need to, to you know, take every single village and things like that. Villages are linked to cities and castles in this game. And obviously as you take the, the castles and the cities, then the surrounding villages will switch over to your allegiance as well. So I'm going to continue on with this one. Again, another obviously battle here. As 
here, it, Michael is steadily improving. I do believe by this point, obviously, he's quite close to actually getting to the point where he is able to upgrade again on the next point of next the end of the next week where he gets paid and obviously that will increase you know the salary amount that he makes as well and things like that although we'll mention though that you know he is obviously on quite low health so he is trying to just you know again pick away at things he wants to obviously stay alive ideally at the end of this battle so he is going to definitely try and keep away from any you know chaos warriors or corn warriors or things like that they are you know, not something that he himself will be able to take down and would not go too well. Although there does seem to be a lot of the corn warriors in this battle, which is not brilliant for him. But he will, you know, do his best to sort of try and keep alive as best as he is able to. And somehow that was one that I absolutely loved there. Obviously he managed to somehow dodge between three mounted chaos guys. And there we go. And we are actually managing to hold our own. We're not expecting to be able to take that down. And then we would happen to fall to a Berserker. Skip forward a little bit there again. And I do believe we were victorious. As you see, we now have advanced to level 3. Obviously, I am skipping over the actual character advancement of this. I will probably put at the beginning of each village... Um, each video uh, sort of thing showing what it is that my character is actually looking like at the current situation and so they have assaulted our actual um, castle here they've besieged it we are going to try and hopefully be able to hold it off although obviously trying to hold off a you know determined chaos assault while you're in the wastes probably not something that would be too great Carl Franz here is definitely he is doing well he is managing to you know hold his own and to probably take out more chaos guys than Empire than loot losses to the Empire although it's still not going as ideally as we would probably like but we shall keep going and hope that it's something that we are able to do and there you can see in the background however there is you know demons of the corn I believe they are that are coming up so those are not something that we want and we are going to get the hell away from that you know corn warrior they are not something that we will like our odds against so best not to risk it and so we're going to get back in sort of um, you know do a sort of site sort of um, controlled retreat moving back to the stairs a place where we can sort of again bottleneck them and everything keep them nice and together and then obviously stop their numbers actually being something that can affect us we can also as well if they keep them on the top of the stairs here as you can see Michael sees an opportunity to sort of pick off some guys from the back and that you know this kind of works a bit like a meat grinder these besiegements so obviously the guys at the front all are just sort of hitting up against each other and everything and then they'll all sort of fall and then people roll over from either side onto them and then watch that but unfortunately the exact same thing that, that we were just thinking about actually happens to us we get pinned in this bit we try to obviously get out but unfortunately again is knocked unconscious and so you can see here how as I was mentioning down the middle is basically a meat grinder of dead bodies eventually this will collapse and one side will get pushed quite a bit further back and then there will be another meat grinder like as you can see at the top of the stairs and things like that as well although we hopefully won't have that it's not looking too good though in terms of the numbers there so obviously I will skip ahead and unfortunately it was a case that while we did kill quite a considerable amount of their men we did actually oh no we did actually manage to not yet there we go we did actually lose the castle that we had taken and as you can see the place has gone as well the village and so we move back I think it's safe to say that their assault on there was not a success however with it we have managed to prove ourselves enough to actually gain a promotion in the army of Karl Franz and also we are obviously as you can see earning you know a decent bit of money intention being that this is some money we can then use to obviously when we move out to be actually to you know raise up our own forces and things like that and actually be able to support them for a decent bit of time rather than relying on the winds of fate of being able to try and you know capture some small battles that we can actually win and things like that just gives us a little bit of security as obviously at the beginning of this game if you go and try and just sort of strike off by yourself it can be very touch and go things can go very wrong very quickly for you and things like that 
Uh, we'll just mention, obviously, here I am playing as Empire, as just sort of as a baseline more than anything to be able to see what they are like. I mean, there is a lot of different options in this game, so you can play, you know, your High Elves, your Dark Elves, you can play as humans, obviously with, you know, Patron... Bretonians, Kislevs, all that sort of stuff you can obviously play as well. You can also play as, you know, green skins with orcs or goblins. You can play as lizard main and Skaven. You can literally play as pretty much any of the races. There are a couple that you can't play. I think um, the only one that springs to mind obviously is the Wood Elves, which is a shame because they are certainly, they are actually my favourite army for the Warhammer universe and they are something that I would have been playing if I could have. But unfortunately it looks like the guys that made this mod haven't actually put them in. It's something that I really wish that they would and who knows, maybe in the future somebody may actually take on the mod and put that in, which would be absolutely brilliant as all of Athalorian doesn't have any guys in it, unfortunately. So we can see here, obviously, how everything is going in this battle, and we are managing to hold our own quite well. Obviously, as the Chaos have decided to try and, you know, return the favour from our Crusade, and thankfully were unsuccessful, which is definitely a good thing. The last thing we want is obviously for them to then be able to come back and move all the way up to Altdorf and actually start being push us back after our attack. And so, Carl Franz, I think believe here is actually going to I like to think you know he's you know gone all right we've tried to go into the north this has not worked okay let's go somewhere else there are you know um all um forces of destruction all around us and he actually I do believe is here yes trying to push into the actual Skaven territories Skaven are obviously slightly different in the actual lore of the game as you know they obviously are sort of rule the underworld and underneath and sort of exist in all the cities and things like that obviously along with the rats and everything but, you know, in this, they've got actual holdings that they hold, and so there is something for them to actually, you know, to actually attack and for them to attack from. So we are, though, going to lead the forces, though, now, well, not lead the forces, be part of the forces going down south to try and attack some of the Skaven. This is something which I'm quite happy with. These tend to be a little bit squishier. They're obviously, they're more in number, but they do tend to fall a little bit easier, and so we are going to be attacking them, and who knows, maybe we can get some nice decent kills from it and so you can see quite a few knights there obviously in the empire they do seem to like their knight units something that i suspect i will probably be going into and there is something which is nice in this mod that you will have already noticed then with skaven and obviously the demons before is that they do actually have different heights for different models which is always nice so you know you're going to see your skinks and your skavens is a lot shorter you're going to get your rat orgs and your demons and your augurs and things like that which are absolutely huge which is something that is always definitely a very nice those variations rather than having skaven which are human size which i mean you can get some skaven that are human size obviously you know obviously you get sorrows for the lizard men and things like that as well but it is nice to have you know some slight variation and i do believe sort of elves are slightly taller and you know all that sort of stuff as well and so there you go we can see a nice shot there of the skaven horde coming up from the um below this mountain you can see also as well as i mentioned about sort of orgs and things there is a rat auger in there as well which you can see they look a lot different than the actual obviously game workshop models which are obviously big chunky things and things like that and there we go see those are firearms there tend to do a lot more damage than normal and i do actually go down unfortunately quite quickly there Although I do believe we are actually still victorious though, which is good, and not at all embarrassing for Michael. So, there we go, and that is everything for today. We are going to pick up next time with the assault on the Skaven land. So, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to obviously leave like and subscribe and everything for the next in this series there.